Mountable gimbals have come a long way. This is the Slick. It was a crowdfunded project that is now available for purchase. And all things considered, it's pretty sweet. The form factor is totally different than a lot of gimbals we've looked at, relying completely on being mounted to standard GoPro mount. So it's got a standard two-prong GoPro mount on the bottom of it that you can attach to all your pre-existing mounts, poles, hand grips, or whatever. And one of the first things you're going to want to put on this is a hand grip if you're going to be shooting um, handheld shots because it is pretty awkward to hold without some sort of mount attached to it. But it goes a lot further than that because because of its mounting system and because of its kind of slightly different lower profile design with the battery pack and the control unit mounted up behind it instead of on the bottom, like many of the mounts we've seen, it's super, super easy to mount to standard GoPro mounting positions, such as on the front of a helmet. What this does is allow you to just take all of those normal mounting positions that you shoot with your GoPro camera and recreate them just better and more stable. So you just take your GoPro and you use it how you normally use it, but instead of mounting the camera, you mount the slick with your GoPro attached to it. It's got a three to four hour internal battery that you charge via a micro USB port on the bottom of the unit. And on a side note, it has some of the most satisfying charge indicator LEDs I have ever seen. Um, but that's just, it, they're, they're super cool. The unit has four buttons, one to power on and off, one to change mode, and then two to control the angle of the camera. And it's really nice to see these attached directly onto the gimbal, not requiring a remote or another attachment or an app. Basically, you just come in here, you hit the button, and you can frame the shot however you want. The other thing that's pretty neat is it mounts using the standard GoPro frame, so mounting it is super easy. It's got a standard GoPro mount You're right up here on the base. You put the camera into that, screw it in using the standard thumb screw in the standard frame, and the camera is all set to go. You can put a Hero 5, Hero 4, or Hero 3 in here without any problems, and it all just works. The unit is nylon with 30% glass fiber reinforcing, which is different than most of the gimbals we've seen, which are made out of metal. This doesn't really lead to it having any weight savings and it still retains a very very sturdy feel one of the things that leads to this is the fact that it doesn't use those fiddly little mounting screws to clamp the camera in using the standard gopro frame gives it a way more robust kind of just run and gun easy to use uh, feel instead of being something that feels more like a high-end piece of camera equipment this feels like something that i would be happy to chuck in my backpack whenever I go skiing and just take with me. It's rainproof with sealed brushless motors. It doesn't say uh, splash proof or submersible, but rainproof and they're confident that if you take it out in a rainstorm, you'll be fine. So something for, for skiing or for uh, use in the rain, then I would definitely feel comfortable taking this out. I had it out in the rain a little bit and it hasn't shown any problems. So good. The tracking action of the stabilizer itself seems very good. It might be a little bit faster than some of the other gimbals I've played with when it comes to reacting to movement. I think this is because they're going for a more action-oriented gimbal, so they want to be able to quickly follow any movements you're making. But the footage that I got from it looks solid. I've said it every time I make gimbal reviews, they add a ton of professionalism to your GoPro edits. They allow your footage to look more smooth, to look more fluid. They allow you to just create a much more professional looking edit um, with the same kind of footage you would shoot before. Stable footage is awesome. It makes everything look better. If you haven't tried out a gimbal, you should try and borrow one from a friend who's got one and just see the difference because it's absolutely amazing the difference between shooting stabilized and non-stabilized footage. Having said that, they are bigger and they are bulkier to take with you and they are one more thing to charge. So I still don't find that I take a gimbal everywhere I go, but if I have the option and if I have the space to take one with me, I definitely grab one because it does add a lot of production value to anything that you are doing. If you're looking for a mountable, easy to use, slightly waterproof gimbal that you can take anywhere you go 
and that's super quick to set up and mount to existing GoPro mounts, the Slick is one to check out. I put it up there with the WD-2 in terms of kind of form factor and style, but it is easier to use and easier to mount. There's no need to worry about tripod adapters or anything like that. It's got a GoPro mount built right onto the bottom of it that's super solid and really easy to use. And the form factor and the style of it just kind of fit with the whole GoPro aesthetic. And it's just one of those things that you can throw this in your GoPro bag and you don't have to just, it's just there and it's ready to go and it's easy to use. It's slightly waterproof, so if you're going to be going out skiing or whatever, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to fuss about it like a high-end piece of camera equipment. It can just kind of go wherever your GoPro goes as long as you don't go fully swimming with it. This was the Slick. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on it down below. What right now, what's your favorite gimbal? And if you had the money to go buy one, which one would you be going to get? Guys, got any questions or comments, leave them down below. But most of all, until next time, thank you very, very much for watching.